Good afternoon, everyone. Today we celebrate the second Sunday of Advent. Please kindly silence all cell phones and pagers so as not to disrupt the liturgy. This Mass is being offered for Teresa George Jeremillo and Thomas George. If you have any questions about parish activities, please contact the office. There will be a second collection this weekend for the Retirement Fund for the Religious of Our Diocese. The Giving Tree can be found at the entrance to the parish office. Good evening. Welcome to St. Paul's. We are so glad to be celebrating Mass in person. We just have a couple of reminders before we begin. Please remain in your seats at all times so we can maintain proper distancing. Please uh, keep your masks on at all times. Because singing spreads the virus more than most activities, we ask that you be considerate of others and do not sing um, during the Mass. If you wish for, to follow along with further worship opportunities, please check out our Facebook page, St. Paul's RC Church, and our YouTube channel, St. Paul's Kenmore, for different opportunities during the week, including a retreat that will be on the Wednesdays of Advent with Father Joe and myself. After Mass, there will be in the back of the church Songs of Faith CDs that are uh, part of our first fundraiser, that we are working on to restore the stained glass windows. With that being said, please rise as our liturgy begins. Father, we are sorry for our sins because we love you. We ask you to give us your peace and healing through the sacrament we're about to receive. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. 
let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son. But may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain. The rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up onto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out, and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom, and leading the ewes with care. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years like one day. The Lord does not delay his promise, as some regard delay, but he is patient with you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and the heavens will pass away with a mighty roar, and the elements will be dissolved by fire, and the earth and everything done on it will be found out. Since everything is to be dissolved in this way, what sort of persons ought you to be? Conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of the Lord, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to his promise, we await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to be found without spot or blemish before him at peace. The word of the Lord. John's preparation of the way of Christ is a model for us, especially during this Advent season. He challenges us to consider whether we lead others to Jesus or whether our actions are motivated by the need for attention and affirmation. Simply, is our lived faith attractive to those who have none. 
Advent provides us the opportunity to hear the good news from whatever desert we find ourselves in. We are encouraged to recognize the desert experiences in our lives, the losses we cannot let go of, the times when we have lingered too long in hurt rather than accepting or granting forgiveness, the dry spells when we wonder about God's care for us. There is still a voice crying out in the desert inviting us to prepare our hearts for the one who is to come. Renewal for our parish as well as our diocese calls us to renew our commitments to one another as a family of faith, to integrate our talents and our resources to strengthen that family. In prayer and worship, integrate our spirits with God and one another. And when all these pieces come together, we become the living stones that hold strong Christ Church. Let us stand in prayer. Father, we come before you now with many prayers and many needs. We ask you to listen to them and grant them according to your will. that we may use our faith and talents to show all that we are preparing the way of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end to the coronavirus through the healing power of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanks for our new bishop elect, Michael Fisher, that he will be blessed with the ability to lead our diocese. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who serve our country, that God may keep them safe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially those near death, that they may see in their suffering a share in the passion of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died might rejoice in seeing God's face to face and the recently deceased for Teresa George Jeremillo and Thomas George, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own special needs and intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We conclude our prayers for our prayer for the lighting of the Advent wreath. Merciful Lord, just as John the Baptist heralded your son's coming, may the church provide a living witness to the dawning of your kingdom. We offer these prayers, trusting you will draw all creation to yourself. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Broken and in our way. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, you are the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, let the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Mortem tuam annunciamus Domine, et tuam resurrectionem confitemur non agonias. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
be gathered into one by your Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, all our bishops, and all your clergy. Remember Teresa and Thomas, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the blessed apostles and all your saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and praise and glorify you your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now as members of one family, we pray to our Father in heaven with the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we have forgiven those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day. By the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And my friends, may the peace of Christ be with you always. And let us offer to each other a greeting of Christ's peace. On you stay, cui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, cui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, Cui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
humbly beseech you, O Lord, that we are partaking in this mystery. You may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. My friends, the Lord is with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, come down upon us now and remain with us forever. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. And everyone have a really good week. Just a quick reminder, Songs of Faith, our fundraising CDs um, done by myself and Liz are on sale in the back, and we hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week.